So this will be our module one, which is your cloud concept. So in this module, what we are going to learn is we are going to learn about the following concept. First is cloud models. So all the time, whenever we are talking about the cloud, people call keep talking about the things like this is public one, this is a private one, and this is how high we are going for the hybrid solution. So what are those particular dip? You know, actually, these are the deployment types that we are talking about, right? And once you understand this, then you will be knowing that what you need to select. We'll be talking about the benefit of cloud you know, what will the consideration and the services that are provided by the cloud like the IaaS infrastructure as a service platform as a service and or software as a service apart from that many other things are also in there so these are the few basic things that we are actually going to talk about today self right this is going to be your module outline for today where we will be starting okay so the very first question always that comes up is what is your cloud computing right so in simple word if i just give the one liner for this one so delivery of your it capability on demand so in one liner you can always say this that you are having every delivery it related delivery Okay, so all of your IT capabilities delivered to you at your doorstep where whenever you are needing. So you are just mostly we go with the pay as you go model, which means you will be paying only for the resources that you are going to use. As you can read here, the formal definition will be saying that cloud computing is delivery of computing service over the internet to enabling faster innovation, flexible resources and economics of scale. So what it means simply, it means let's just say, you know, let's just start with a very basic example. One of you wanted to just start up, you know, just go and just open his own startup. Let's just say uh, Nalin is here. So this is one of my habit to take the example from the candidates. Okay, so let's just say the Nalin who is sitting here with us. He want to start a particular startup, right? He has a very good idea. So next thing is but his startup is requiring bit of the infrastructure as well. Right. So at this time, what Nalin is thinking that I don't have that much of you know, that I have some funds, but I don't have that much of fund that I can go and purchase. Let's just say few servers, right? Then I have to purchase few you know, networking. I have to work on the network as well. How my network design will be right and how I'm going to you know, uh, create the complete LAN and all those kind of things, creating the net, you know, virtual network, the subnets. Right, that kind of thing. Then he's going to require the storage, the laptops, and a lot of hardware. But he doesn't have that kind of money. So cloud computing can help him in this particular scenario, right? So what cloud computing can be doing? He could be delivering all those IT capability to his doorstep when he is needing it most, right? So if he's requiring a system which has, let's just say, you know, he's requiring a system which is running on the four virtual, you know, four CPUs, okay, having the uh, a lot of RAM. Let's just say he's requiring 32 GB of RAM. So you know, he's, it will be delivered, okay, to his doorstep. So whatever his requirements are, it is going to be fulfilled by the your cloud computing. Not even that, you know, not only the hardware capabilities, even the software capabilities. Like if you just want to run the, let's just say, IIS servers, Right, he doesn't have the he hasn't purchased any particular license for it, right? So all those things can be taken care by your cloud computing itself. Not even that. You know, now our cloud computing have the AIs, right? You know, they have the big data, okay, big data solutions, AI solutions, your machine learning solutions. So if he is just gathering a lot of data, he can implement those analytics solutions as well onto those particular data that he is collecting. He can, you know, refine that data according to his need. So he he can do a lot of things. All the that's why I was saying all the IT related, you know, IT service related capabilities are going to be delivered at your doorstep. So it is simply a practice of using a network of remote server hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process the data rather than you know having your local server or a personal computer. And what you will feel like that you are actually having those systems on your with you on your you know, physical presence itself, right? So again, uh, I will be using this paint to you know draw something or write something as well, like a whiteboard. Okay. In the meantime, and a uh, lot of the time, so. Uh, even so if someone want a very layman definition or understanding of what your cloud is like so usually in other batches as well I give this very very pathetic example. I am having a VMware with me, right? So I am having this VMware. Let's just say I am running an instance of the Parrot OS on this 
Now we are sitting around 43 people here, 43 candidate, and now we are 44. So we are 44 candidate at this particular moment. And what is going to happen is now let's just say that at this particular moment, all of us is requiring an instance of your Parrot OS. In the Parrot OS, and uh, Nalin he was having this idea, right? This is his startup. So Nalin, he's what he is going to do. He is going to over open a particular VM, yeah? like VM. What it is doing here, virtual machine. Okay, I'm just opening this VMware, and I am just running one single instance of your Parrot OS, right? So what he can do, he is having all appropriate hardwares. He just make copy. So we are 44 people here. So he just made 44 copy of this Parrot OS. Right, and he gave each one a different name, a different password, username and password. Right, and he contacted all of uh, all of us, and he start giving the username, password, and he just tell us that you know, tell us that this portal you have to use to connect to your machine, or this web app, you know, web portal you have to use, or this app you have to use to connect to your machines. When we'll be connecting to this particular Parrot OS. If you will be turning it on so what is going to happen you will feel like that you are actually running a hardware system and on that hardware machine that you are running that particular parrot os on it so you have all the capability like you will be having a ram you will be having a network you can connect to the internet you if you are just creating a local area network you can kind of communicate in that as well so you can do all the things like you will be having the network interface card. You will be having a RAM, a hard disk, a storage, an operating system. Okay, a different adapters as well, the drivers. So never you you are not, never going to feel that you are running something over to the internet. You are just you, know, you will feel like that you are running something which is physically present with you, right? So this kind of experience. So in the very layman language, what you can say, you can say that you are accessing a cloud, right? So this is the simple, you know, just to understand that what is your cloud computing? I take this example so that everyone can understand, you know, not too technical, very simple one, that how everyone is running on the cloud, right? So what you are saying that each instance of Parrot OS is provided to each and every candidate here and what you are feeling you are feeling like you know, you have you own this piece of hardware and you are running that particular system with the Parrot OS. So you are having all the hardware capabilities at your position, right? So that is your cloud in the simple language. Now if I jump into this, you know, as I was saying that I'm going to use this uh, paint for as the whiteboard for you. So let's just say that you, know, you have to deploy something the example of Narin where he was about to open his own his own idea and convert into the, a startup right so if he has to go with the on premise network or systems so what he needs to do if he's want to deploy all these IT solution on his local center or his office so what are the things that you know he is going to require he's going to require a server okay what you require you require a server okay with this what else you require you require specialist right so you require uh, not only one specialist but multiple specialists who can handle the server who can you know uh, run the different operating uh, who can install the different operating system who know how to handle the network as well what will be the situation of you know, even a very simple thing when you are having the you know, data centers and all you need to keep the temperature of that place you know, very very optimal right that is your responsibility right it you know, that should not be the, there should be proper ventilation and all so for that we implement the HVAC right so for that as well you are requiring some you know, invest money on that thing as well Right. Apart from that, you are going to pay a rent. Okay. You will be paying rent as well. Okay. With this, you, know, you are going to take all the risk. Right. So the risk will be required like a physical security as well. You have to take care or think about the physical security itself. Right. It shouldn't be the case that someone has broken into the facility in the night or in the you know, at any point and they just steal all your servers and all those kind of things. I don't think that is going to make a very good impression anywhere. Right. So when you just switch to your cloud service provider. So what are the few benefits that you are going to get? Right, someone else is going to. Okay, someone else is going to own the server. 
right this will be the very first thing that you are not owning that server you don't require the server someone else has owned that so server and you will be just using it according to your need right and you know someone else is going to hire the you know it specialist okay same thing someone else is going to hire specialist right someone else is going to pay the rent someone else is going to be responsible for configuring all the hardware all the you know, application that is required all the physical security as well so all these will be taken care by someone else when we talk about the cloud services there so these are the few simple comparison between the you know why you will be requiring or why it is good to move with the cloud services right now if we just look into the evaluation the uh, evaluation how this thing actually you know, we reach to this cloud security part so guys who are working on the field for a very long time so everyone will be you know, almost everyone will be remembering that that we started always with the dedicated servers right so very first generation was the your dedicated server now there was your one physical machine which is dedicated for your single use or for the single business like running a single website right what is the cons of this thing that it was very very expensive okay maintenance fee it was very high at the time right there you go you are going to require the security okay so it required the high security as well so you will be investing in the security as well that was the very first generation where we started with that was the dedicated server then we move to your virtual private servers now the thing at this point was that dedicated servers was having the few specific issues as well let's just say that you installed three four five six these many uh, for the different purpose because one dedicated server was running for the one specific job and you have, have to run multiple things let's just say that you are hiring the or you are just just having multiple dedicated server which is running for the specific functions now one big problem was the under utilization of your resources so we were having resources which were being under utilized at that time right so you know, uh, that was the challenge for us that these devices they were under utilized so you have invested the money and you can't even use them fully right then come your concept of the virtualized private servers where you were having the same one machine dedicated to one business and this physical machine you know you can implement the virtual solution on that the hypervisors we call them right and you can just have the you know, scenario like the sub machine so one machine this time was running multiple web app let's just say right performing multiple function so you start doing the virtualization on the private servers this time okay with this i think uh, if you have purchased the uh, domains from the godaddy or something else so there is something known as the shared hosting right so this was also a particular thing that was quite common i think still up to date this is the kind of thing which is common so it was similar there you can say that it was quite similar to your cloud services that we are having nowadays but thing was that there was one physical machine shared by let's just say you know uh, hundreds or few of the different businesses right uh, the same virtual scenario kind of thing was happening that the server was having the multiple virtual machines which was hosting different different web how web apps right and those web apps are actually belonging to different different businesses right so this was the shared hosting that we come to and after this the complete game was changed by your cloud computing so what was this cloud computing now multiple physical machines they are acting like one system and this system is abstracted into the multiple cloud services right so let's just say that this time uh, we are just specifically talking about the azure this time but azure is not the only player in this you know, domain we are having the aws as well we are having the google cloud uh, service uh, so that is your gcp for you know, cloud providers and then we are also having the vSphere. So, uh, we all uh, i think everyone is aware with the vmware so we are having the vSphere as well so these are the few players that are in the market of the cloud computing there right so what they start doing they start opening the multiple dedicated you know server uh, multiple data centers where they were having the multiple machines and in this particular scenario the one server we i am going to refer it as the rack okay so they were having those physical machines which we can say were a 
track right so having the multiple data center in a single region they start giving you a very cheap you know solution to run your web app different services okay you can now just completely migrate from your on premise to the cloud itself so they were providing you all the high level computing capabilities that you are requiring to run your business right so that are the thing that is in the market right now right and with this we are having the multiple type okay the deployment of cloud is could be your public private or your hybrid as well there is one another thing which we call the community cloud okay i will be just telling you about that one as well but the main is your public private and the hybrid solution now apart from that benefit was the it was providing you the compute like the virtual computer compute services like virtual computer that can run your app your program the code and you can have the complete infrastructure for you it was providing you the storage as well so this time you don't need to be worried about the storage right so you don't need to worry that you are going to run out of storage so how much storage you are requiring you can just keep on you know, uh, purchasing for them just you have to just pay the bills up front that's the thing with it nothing else right so that was the thing it is also providing you the network part you know, networking uh, solution as well if you want to deploy a particular virtual network at particular area as well in the region with that you want to deploy multiple subnets so all that you can you know just go ahead and do that kind of thing and also it was providing you the database solution as well so with the you know just like the sql you know you can launch the direct sql servers mysql server okay post gre sql server all those sql server you can launch on the cloud instance right without any hassle so you don't need to worry about the what will be the you know, underlying architecture the space or something like that you know, space or processing power it is going to require so whatever your requirement is just you know state that to your cloud service provider they will be just providing it to you and you need to just focus on your work on the services that you want to provide or the work that you want to do right so this is the benefit of having a particular cloud 